embedded in a vocational course, it is the embedded teaching of numeracy that needs to be identified and planned. Tasks and activities to teach specific numeracy concepts needed to carry out a workplace task successfully with understanding need to be prepared, ready to use if necessary. So it's being um, prepared with tasks to use just in case you, you need them. Sometimes, um, you know, if your learners um, are managing, you just keep going. Other times, if they are having issues, then you stop and you deal with the numeracy. So you need to know the demands. So you, you just need to understand the ways in which numeracy is used in vocational tasks and the numeracy demands of the learning environment. So it's looking at the activities or the tasks that you are working on with your learner and then um, unpacking or identifying tasks with the numeracy content in identifying the underlying numeracy concepts that need to be understood to carry out the task successfully. So it can, it, the task itself might be a measuring task, but what is the underlying numeracy that they need to have an understanding of to be able to carry out that task effectively. So plan teaching activities to address these underlying numeracy concepts, activities centred around the work task, keep it in the vocational context and use the, the pre-planned teaching activities when and if needed. As I said before, not all learners will um, need these teaching tasks. Um, at this stage, if there's anything anybody wants to comment on or um, just put it in the chat area and I will respond to it. If not, I'll just keep going. So if there's anything, I'll just keep an eye out for it. And welcome to uh, Dorothy and Karen Ormsby. So um, thanks for logging in. Hope you can hear me. We'll just keep going. Um, so we'll move on. But also you need to know your learner. So it's knowing the demands of your course, what numeracy is, in, in, is in the, within the task that you are getting the learners to, to work on, and the underlying numeracy concepts within those. And, and knowing your learner, to effectively meet and learn as needs, the tutor somehow needs to align what the learner wants with the tutor's knowledge of the course demands. They, the course might have its demands, the learner has what they want, they want to pass the course. So because learners enrol, because they want to be a mechanic or a chef or be able to work in hospitality or some vocational area, they, they don't enrol to do numeracy. Um, so as a tutor, you know the demands of your course, and for nearly every vocational course, the demands reach um, step six at some stage. And as soon as there's decimals involved or percentages, it's uh, at that step six. So this can be quite challenging for some learners. And um, you know that some of your learners will need embedded numeracy teaching to be able to cope with these demands. Assessment will show which learners and where they might have problems. So this is where um, looking at your data from the assessment tool, if you're using that, or other data if that's what you are using. But it's knowing your learner so that you can build in the embedded teaching of numeracy that they need, as well as addressing what they want, which is to be able to do the vocational time. And timing is important. Now the numeracy and vocational instructional support needs to be delivered as it is required for the task at hand, immediately relevant to learners and helps them to achieve success in the vocational area. It's um, to do things out of context. The learners don't always see the relevance of it, so you don't get them to engage. 
not keeping it related to the task at hand. So as I'm, you know, time is important, and where you do it is also important. Now, ideally, ideally, the support is provided if learners engage in the practical task rather than a separate classroom in a different time. Um, so, you know, it's, the timing is important and the where it happens is important. You know, if the embedded teaching is occurring while the learners or the learner is engaged in the vocational task, the learner can see the relevance to what they want and the tutor can address their needs, their numeracy needs within that. However, separate provision can be effective if it is closely linked to the vocational learning and taught by tutors who clearly understand and articulate these links. So it's, if it is separate, and done, um, you know, in a classroom situation or at a different time, then the tutor needs to be making connections to what the learner has done when they've been out in the field doing the task. Or, um, so you need to, the tutor needs to be explicit and make explicit references to the vocational task, whether numeracy is used. I think it works best if the learner has already experienced the vocational task, so that the tutor can say things like, you know, remember when? You know, what did you do next when you were doing the task, you know, out in the field? And think about when you did. So that you've got something to look at the tutor, something to link back at, the learner sees the relevance of it and can make the connections and use the <coughs> pictures they have in the mind of in their mind of what they did to help them make sense of the numeracy that they're working on. So the key ideas um, with this has been the clear and explicit link between vocational and numeracy context. Vocational numeracy tutors understand the ways in which numeracy is used in specific vocational tasks and activities. Vocational and numeracy tutors understand the numeracy requirements of the learning environment. And the further key idea is that numeracy instruction is delivered as it is required for the vocational learning. The connections between numeracy and vocational learning are clearly evident in teaching materials. So if you're using teaching materials, it's good to use the actual items if you're relating it to a task that they've done in a cooking situation, for example, it was a measuring task, then have the measuring tool as the teaching materials. Um, and if you can't do that, then you're making explicit links between the teaching materials and the activity that they did. And teaching and learning materials are differentiated for learners during numeracy needs. So that's addressing the needs of learners who are at different steps in their numeracy understanding and what they can work with. Although sometimes one, um, one resource can be used in different ways by, by the learners depending on where they're coming from. So, um, you know, it's a, it's a working around that as well. So um, at this stage, before I go any further, is there um, anything people want to put in the chat area to, um, to share or ask? I'll just give you a couple of minutes to, to think about that and add that in if you wish to. Okay, nothing in so far, so um, we'll just keep going. What we're going to have a look at now is um, numeracy courses. Is the embedding different? So this is where it's not a vocational um, setting. It's a straight numeracy course, and um, you know, is, is it different? Is the embedding different when you have a straight numeracy course rather than a vocational one? Um, and you know, I'd like to um, get your feedback on that if you would like to, um, pop that into the chat. 
I will keep going, but if anybody puts something in, I'll stop and respond to that. So, numeracy courses, is the embedding different? Well, the, um, there are some differences because there's no natural context. And if you're in a vocational course, that's built in. You know, you've got learning activities, you've got um, tasks that they're doing that, match, that are just there as part of what they're doing to pass their vocational course. So you haven't got that as a straight numeracy course. But you to find the con have to find a context that interests and engages the learner and lends itself to addressing the numeracy needs of the learner. So there's an extra thing in there that the tutor needs to be aware of. It's finding that context that's going to work. Um, so the tutor uses the context as a starting point rather than the numeracy. Often in straight numeracy courses, um, you start it's seen as starting from the numeracy. But I still think in a straight numeracy course, it's a good idea to start from the context. So you hook your learners and you get them engaged by choosing a context that, it, that they're interested in and, and um, in which you can, as a tutor, embed the numeracy teaching that they need. So um, in, in this situation where you haven't got a built-in context, they, um, Tutor still needs to know the learner. You're still um, using the data from your assessments. You're using what you find out just by talking to your learner and building up a relationship and getting to know them. And perhaps even in this situation, you have to do that a little bit more because it's through talking to them you get to know what they're interested in um, and what context might work for them to engage them in learning. And once you've got selected a context, you need to know the demands of the context. You know, what what numeracy is within that context? How can you use that context to address um, the numeracy that the learners that you're working with particularly need? So use the numeracy within the context to, to develop embedded numeracy teaching tasks and activities to address the needs of the learner. So the approach here is just a little bit different from the vocational ones. So the difference between vocational and straight numeracy teachers teaching centres around the context. Vocational tutors have a built-in context and they can use this to, to address the numeracy needs of their learners because the numeracy is already embedded in the context as well and it's just looking at what embedded numeracy teaching do I need to fit into these um, sessions or alongside these activities so that the learners can actually achieve the tasks within the vocational course. Um, numeracy tutors, if they're doing straight numeracy, they have to find a context that will engage their learner. They have to um, <coughs> find out what will, in, what will interest, them, interest them. And this you know, can vary greatly. You've got um, youth who may be interested in sport or music. You might have young people, the young guys in particular, interested in cars. Um, there's a whole range of things that you need to look at and think about. And then it's finding or finding it out by looking carefully at these interests. What numeracy is related to them and how can I um, use this to embed some numeracy teaching that will keep the learners interested and meet their what they perceive as their, their wants and you can meet their needs as far as the numeracy is concerned. So I have got some references here which will be um, uploaded with the PowerPoint that I've been using, so you can refer to those if you want to. 
Now, are there any final um, questions, statements, or anything that people want before I sign off? I will put the video so you can see me again. Okay, so if there's anything there that you want to make a comment about, ask about, if there's something I haven't mentioned that you would have liked, uh, please ask me about that as well. Um, feel free to and I will respond. Nothing coming up. I will go back to um, this one here. So if there's anything here that reminds you about something you'd like to comment on, feel free. Otherwise, um, thank you very much for logging in and listening. If there's anything or any way that I can help, um, feel free to contact me um, separately to this if you wish.